Up next, we have Ariel Kailani, who's going to be sharing about unveiling the power of branding. Uh, Ariel, I also met at a networking event that my sister and brother-in-law uh, invited me to and just um, really approaches the idea of design, brand, uh, identity, communication, and um, visuals from, from a really um, personal and, and uh, like clear perspective. And so excited to have her share her experiences in her design work in the way that she approaches uh, branding, website development, design assets, and hopefully uh, you guys can think about your business, your brand, and applying this idea of igniting core memories and creating lasting impact. Hello, I'm super happy to be here and that I was invited to speak today. It's so wonderful to be in a room filled with like-minded individuals that are all excited and eager to grow. So really what I want to talk about is core memories and how that goes into your brand and also your personal life because those do go hand in hand. So what is a core memory exactly. Core memory is something like riding a bike for the first time, or maybe going to prom, or maybe your first heartbreak. It's something that hits you, and you're going to have that memory for the rest of your life. These memories are so powerful if you can find a way to implement that into your business and your branding. I think the best way to go about this would be to start with my core memories, where I came from. I grew up on a very small island uh, on the border of Canada and Washington called Orcas Island. Show of hands, has anyone heard of that? <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> I was very small. I graduated high school with 30 kids. And I was never a traditional school girl. I didn't like school. I found that it was hard to fit in. So I found myself doing a running start program where I went to college in high school. And I got about a year and a half done. And then my senior year, I had two classes. It was totally cool. And the school at the time did not have a cheerleading squad. So I decided we should make one. <laughs> and it was funny because nobody wanted to join. But I had a group of misfits that joined, about five girls. And some of them had disabilities. We were all kind of just trying to come together and make something happen and go to the games. It made me realize that it was so important to be able to help people and to help them grow. Now, fast forward, graduated high school, came out to Arizona, and I started my first business. It was called Beauty in the Bark, and it is a dog matching women's clothing brand. From there, I started another business and another business, continuing on to try to figure out what it was I was, I was supposed to do. I ended up landing on website design. It worked really, really well for me. I was able to help people get their brand out there who had a bad website or not one at all. And within that, I found that I wasn't branding myself properly. I had a good looking website. I made myself look like a tech professional. Blues, grays, lots of little animations, but it wasn't truly me. 
And it took me years to realize that I wasn't doing myself any favors by not being my authentic, true self. But that takes a deep dive into figuring out who that person is. And I invite everyone today to really dig deep and think about if you are representing your true self into your brand and into who you are. Because that was a light bulb for me in coming to realize that if I put myself out there, I am my true self, and I can relate to people, what's stopping you? So I decided to rebrand. And within rebranding, I started thinking internally, what inspires me? And it came to me, the monarch butterfly. They do migrate through here. I don't know if anyone got a chance to see monarch butterflies this year. You got to. Nice. I want to go to Mexico or New Mexico next year to go check them out. But it's an absolutely incredible thing, metamorphosis, what the butterfly goes through. Completely changes its body form. What if I was able to change my business and change the way I was thinking to help people in a better way? And what if everyone is going through the same thing? They need to be able to truly tell their message from the heart. So I rebranded and I put myself out there. I was vulnerable. I admitted my faults in having a website that didn't actually resonate with who I am. And I started putting myself out there. I got an orange suit, I did a photo shoot, I represented my brand being the color orange. And it's funny because when I think of orange, I don't love it. But what's the meaning behind orange? enthusiasm, creativity. It's a very impactful color. And when you see the monarch butterfly, it might ignite a core memory of what that means to you or when you see them. I think that it's so important if you can take that concept and implement it into anything and everything you do. For example, I recently covered my entire house in houseplants. Why? Well, because they make me feel really good. It's positive energy. When I see the natural green growing from the ground, I can relate that to me growing as a person. And I can relate that to great memories that I've had being in the forest growing up. It was funny, too, because Today, I noticed in several of my pots that I had little mushrooms growing. And I didn't plant any mushroom seeds or anything like that, but it was really special because it made me think of a childhood core memory. My mom told me every time that we would be around mushrooms that there were fairies around. What I'm really getting at is that if you can go back to childhood, we were all kids once, and go back to the playfulness and the positivity and influence that into your business, your brand, and your personal life. This goes a long way. Not even in terms of scaling, but the feeling that you have coming from it. Waking up in the morning, knowing that you're being true to yourself, and that you doing that can possibly impact another person is huge. Now I want to talk about brands that ignite core memories to me. For example, what's the first vodka that you guys think about? Five o'clock? I'm going to go Tito's. <laughs> 
So Tito's represents what? They're from Austin, they're gluten-free, and they also say that they are the dog vodka brand. What does that mean exactly? All I know is I love dogs, and I think a lot of other people do too. Sounds good to me. They literally have a separate piece of paper that they put on that that say they're the dog vodka brand. Another one that hit me actually recently, this is a um, more of a startup. This is an app for people with dementia to get to learn on your phone. So it shows them pictures and they have to say what it is and guess what the app's called? Memory Lane. And their icon is an elephant. Elephants never forget. <laughs> so igniting that core memory of maybe the first time you saw an elephant at the zoo or thinking like, I want to be like an elephant. I never want to forget. You're able to relate. Plus, if a brand is actually trying to help people, you want to help them back. This is why I started working with brands that I can help represent that impact that they want to recreate and tell their story. I am working with a doctor design footwear company called Emar Italy, and her message is very powerful. It's something that everyone can relate to. High heels hurt women's feet. What can I do to make that different? I'm actually wearing them right now. She's a doctor, so they have built-in orthopedics. And they're the heels that you can wear all day long. I've been working with her now for just about a year and helping her tell her story and get her messaging straight. And when it comes from the heart, her story really does, everything will follow suit. So I am curious if there is a brand that you guys have in mind that is something that pretty much everyone would know about that you feel doesn't have that, but it's a big mainstream brand. They don't ignite core memories. Can anybody think of one? They're everywhere. We can also talk about brands that do it really well, like Nike. When you see Nike, it's just do it. And it's the epitome of athleticism and how to perform better and to go for your dreams. They have a great marketing image behind them or McDonald's. They literally have a smile in their logo and they represent somewhere that you're going to be happy with a happy meal, igniting that core memory of when we go to McDonald's as a kid, I get a happy meal with a toy inside. It's so interesting how you have the ability to ignite these core memories if you just let yourself. And today, to summarize, I hope that I've ignited some of those core memories in you guys, and I hope that you can influence that into your day-to-day -day in your business life. Does anyone have any questions? Can you think of an example of a brand that wasn't doing this well and then went through a rebranding in order to um, connect with their audience in a, in a deeper way, connecting to a more like emotional uh, draw? That I've worked with personally or just any brand? Well, I guess I could say Budweiser is an interesting one that comes to mind because they're about to have to go through that and I think 
everyone in the room coming from that background of understanding how these things work, you have to ask yourself, what's the right approach? But my favorite commercial of all time is actually from Budweiser, and it's with their horses. And the connection between raising the horses, having them grow up, and seeing that all happen. I would say that all of these companies, as they've gotten bigger, have had to rebrand and figure out what I just realized, and that's to target people for their core memories so that they never forget and that they can, the brand can live within the family. I mean, it's passed on through traditions, what you like, what you don't like. Um, I would say Abercrombie & Fitch is another good example of someone that just did a rebrand. Uh, they had a lot of issues going into just hiring basically models to work for them and they ended up getting in a lot of trouble for it, so they had to go for a full rebrand, and then now they're appearing more sophisticated and happy to have anybody work there. I think a lot of companies went through that recently. Anyone else? Dustin. Yeah, that's a great question. Who's my favorite? I've worked with multiple life coaches, and it's really, really fun to be able to take everything within them and pour it out into their brand and their website. Um, I wouldn't consider those a rebrand. I would consider them not having a brand, of course. But in terms of a rebrand, uh, one that really hit home was a medical spa in Vail, Colorado. They had just the worst logo branding website. It was one page and didn't make sense. Um, and I helped bring out her message in making people feel more beautiful. And now she's absolutely crushing it. I also do all of her marketing for her, but um, she's had the ability to streamline her services, charge more money, and uh, even hire more employees, which has been great. The hope is to be able to open a new office. <laughs> Just gotta keep at it. Awesome, well thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs>